Hello and welcome to Victory Church. What a privilege. I'm very happy to be here today with my dear brother, Ray Candelaria. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for having me. Are you happy to be yes, here today? Yes, I'm ecstatic to be here What today. a wonderful opportunity we have here. June 27th, it is 7 p.m. here in Texas. 8 p.m. in the West Coast, 5 p.m. I'm sorry, 8 p.m. in the East Coast and 5 p.m. in the West Coast. From Odessa, Texas, we take to you, thank you for watching and connecting and welcome to Victory Church. We hope that you will enjoy this video. We are going to be talking today about friendship. Yes, friendship is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I'm uh, excited to be here back. Me too. <laughs> Praise the yes. Lord. And everything that we do here have one purpose, and that purpose is to exalt the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is, is Jesus Lord in your heart? Yes, he is Lord in my heart, Pastor. Um, he took me out of a very dark area of my life and brought me to a new life and uh, led me to Odessa, Texas to be here with you and with everyone else watching. And I thank him for that. That's very good. We are very happy to be here. The name of my brother is Ray Candelaria. You can see it on the screen. He is one of our church members and is a faithful friend of mine, very loyal, very helpful. And today on June 27th, we want to speak about what a friend is. And I know that you have questions about it, so feel free to reach out. There is an email address that you can use for that purpose, and the email is on the screen, info at vchurch.us. You can connect with us, send us a prayer request, or simply say, hey guys, it's, it's good to see two handsome guys on the screen. <laughs> That's is that good or what? That's good. <laughs> And if you are watching through any of our platforms, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Vimeo, Roku Channel, Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, whatever is the platform you are using, don't forget to, to give us a like yeah. and perhaps a comment, right? Yes, drop us a like or a comment. It uh, helps us out. It's great. It's uh, just so we can know you're there and we're here for you um, whenever you need us. Absolutely. That would be fantastic. I want to remind you about the podcast. I always say to people, there are many wonderful things in our podcast that you can listen for free. And believe me, your data usage is going to be very, very little. Just FYI, you are talking about 10% of the data when you are listening versus when you are watching a video. So when you're on the road, Use the podcast. It's a great way to connect. But also, we have audiobooks. And those are great stories, all original stories, original music. There are eight already released. We are working on more. And we hope that one of these days you're going to go to the website mygiancarlo.com and enjoy this, this uh, different kind of books that you can listen and also to read. The PDF is available as well. But what else is going on here in Victory Church? Well, the most important thing that we have is that we worship the name of our Lord every Sunday at 10 a.m. Yes, and it's, uh, we want you to be here with us. We invite you. It's fun. It's a joyous time. You, we get to fellowship. Uh, we get to meet all kinds of people, and it's just great, you know, seeing each other's hearts out here and everybody smile. And we would love for you to be out here with us. It is wonderful also to share with you videos during the week at 7 p.m. And as you know, here on Saturdays at 5 p.m., there is something going on. And yeah. that is something that I would like Ray, to share with you quickly. Yes, if you could come, please worship with us on Saturdays. Uh, it'd be great. We'd love to see new faces. Love to see, you know, talk with everyone. It's, a, it's an oper awesome opportunity for us and for yourself as well. And uh, just, uh, we, we'd love to see you here. Absolutely. Come and join us. And today we are going to go quickly to the scripture. I know that you want to know more about friendship. In the first scripture, we find it in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 17. And we read the scripture in the name of our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, the first scripture, it says, A friend loves you all the time, but a brother was born to help you. Help in times of trouble, Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves you all the time. I was talking actually today with, with my wife, Ray, about um, precisely that concept, friendship. Yes, sir. And, uh, and I said to her, you know, if, 
if I can consider someone my friend, that person is the, is the one that is there for me all the time. Yes, all the time. He's gonna be, he or she's going to be there for you um, no matter what they're doing. I mean, well, there are things we got to take into consideration, but you know their hearts. Their hearts are genuine in there towards you and for you. True. It's absolutely true. Yes. And, uh, and you know what else is interesting about it is that a true friend always will be able and willing to listen to you. So are we right all the time in the things that we go through life? Do we really do everything correct and the rest of the people are always doing the wrong thing? Is that true? No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. There's a lot of things where I veer off and I have um, my brothers and sisters and I have my pastor, like Tracy and yourself, how um, you and her have let us out, me and my wife, Linda, and to see things in a better light and in a better perspective and uh, to live a better life that's for one right. another and for, for everyone that we come across. And so important is that you find good friends in life, people that will love you all the time, all the time. And you know, the, probably the most important thing that we need in a friend is a good ear. Isn't it true? Yes, sir. You need that ear. You need that shoulder. You need that handshake. You need that smile. You need all of it. And to take it in and absorb it and use it. Use it as a tool, not just for yourself, but for others. Keep it going. Right. So important. If you want to be a good friend for someone, learn to listen. Learn to listen, my friend. You are going to discover the importance of listening, paying attention to to whatever your friend is talking to you. You know, one thing that I, I really admire of my wife, she listens to people when they are telling us or telling her their preference about things. You will not believe this, but it's interesting. You know, all of us in our phones, we have a contact yes. file, correct? Yes, yes, sir. And you have there their name, Sometimes the email address besides the phone number. Sometimes you have the address, correct? Yes, sir. Because it's a contact profile, right? Well, on, on her contacts, she writes what are the things that they like when they son say something like, I like this song. That's awesome. So this morning, she was talking with Tina, Tina Youngblood. We love you, Tina. You know how much we love you. And Tracy is sharing with Tina the songs that she will be singing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. So Tracy says, Tina, I know that you love several songs and they, you have favorites because you have said that to me. <laughs> so probably Tina was, Tina was thinking, man, how, how does she know that? Well, of course, you can remember certain things, but Tracy is smart. Yes. You know, you can't remember all details about everybody. And there is nothing wrong with typing in your notes and the right, contact. Right, that way it comes up just the way you said and you're able to speak to them on... Sometimes even on their level about something. But you, but you can do that when you are listening. Let's say, listen to this friend. You have a friend that is telling you how much this person likes um, chocolate-covered strawberries. <laughs> yes, they're good. <laughs> oh, we, we love them, right? <laughs> chocolate. Yes. Chocolate. Oh, we already yes. got side. But uh, somebody says that they love that very much. But if you are not listening... You are missing an important part of that person, that individual. They like that. So a true friend loves you all the time and pays attention, listens to you. That's important. And vice versa. You can do the same thing. At least in this rest part of the scripture, it says, but a brother was born to help in times of trouble. So here we see a big difference between just a simple friend and a brother. Brother, yes. And I can relate to that very much so because my brother just... Biological brother, you know, he's always there for me, he always has been, and I'm thankful and appreciated to that. And then the brothers that I make along the way that I never knew I had, being the friend and the brother at the same time, they're there for you without hesitation. How it's many awesome. brothers do you have? Oh, I have one biological brother. One biological yes, brother. Manuel Candelari, yes, sir. And, uh, well, of course, my brothers along the way, you uh, right. know my testimony, Pastor. I know. One day I'll get to share it with everyone. But there's, We will. There are many, many, many brothers Absolutely. of mine out there. It is wonderful. But you see here, we see a difference. Someone could be a friend, but also someone else can be not just a friend, could be a brother. Of course, I want you ladies to think that also could be a sister, 
not necessarily, you know. It is, it is good to have friends from the other gender. Let's say I, I have many friends that are ladies, and, and if you are a lady, you can have a friend that is, is a gentleman. That, that there is nothing wrong with that. But you know what? The best thing is to have a friend of your own gender. Yes. Because otherwise you can lead that relationship in a wrong direction, especially if you are married. How come if you are a woman, you have a best friend that is a guy and is not your husband? Yeah, that's not right. That's, that would, that's just uh, awkward and can lead to uh, other things. Other things that wouldn't be good at all. And what about us having a friend, a lady that is such a great friend, best friend, best friend even than your own wife? Yes, it's, it's uh, the same thing. Uh, it's not right. right. To me, it's not yeah. right. But uh, we can... Um, Important thing to mention. Guys, it's a very important thing to mention. Okay, but let's, let's please read the next scripture on the okay. screen. Okay, it says, Good people are careful about choosing their friends, but evil people always choose the wrong ones. Proverbs 12, 26. All right. How many of us do not choose the right friends? Have you? Yes, that used to be me before I came to Christ. <laughs> Before I even knew Christ, but um, tell me about it. You know, he. Um, I was um, thinking that I was living a life, having the job, having this and that, and live, being with my so-called friends. But once you don't have something of a certain thing that they like, they were no longer your friend, and they leave you out there in the cold or in different ways. I mean, different kinds of hurt comes in. You, I would think about you think about yourself instead of others. I, I, I just. It, it wasn't good. It wasn't right. good. And then um, it, it led me to a destructive way in my life. And, um, I thank God that he pulled me out, picked me up, set me apart. Right. And showed me what a real friend was, which was him first. Right. Which was him first. And then he brought, started bringing my friends. And I think that most of us uh, understand that because majority of us have made the same mistake. Yes. Now, here's something that is a little bit... Uh, hurtful to us is what the scripture says. Uh, read with me. It says, evil people always choose the wrong ones. Oh, that hurts. That hurts because if I am choosing the wrong one, that means that I'm evil. Yes, sir. I'm and I cannot say, those guys doing drugs, they are evil. You know, they took me in the wrong path. Uh, that that's so that's passing the book. Uh, oh, that that's is so irresponsible. Your choice, <laughs> exactly. Yes, it's choice, free will. You know, they do those bad things, and you know, they took me into that path. Really, they did that, or is it possible that we were looking for that path? Yes, it, it was. We tried to look for a way out and something, and made a wrong choice, and it. We became part of that evil situation. Exactly. But if we go back to the beginning of the verse, it says, good people are careful about choosing their friends. So, in other words, when we are careful about choosing our friends, we become good people. Yes. We good people. Are, are you, based on this scripture, if you need to say you are a good people or part of the good people or part of the evil people, well, well, Show me your friends. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You can't, uh, you got to, this is really good to evaluate yourself. Where you are. To, yes, it is. It's not calling no one out. It's just God showing you with his word. It's not Ray or Pastor John showing. Right. It's the, the word of God. Exactly. And he's the one showing you, hey, evaluate yourself. Where are you at? You, there's no in between. It's me or there. So what kind of friends do you have? Because the kind of friends you have are pretty much telling us what kind of person you are, you know? Yes, sir. So very important scripture. Let's read one more. This is a, a, based on Proverbs 13, 20. Please, oh, brother. Okay, it says, be friends with those who are wise, and you will become wise. Choose fools to be your friends, and you will have trouble. Proverbs 13, <laughs> 20. That is so true. That is so true. Because and I, and oh, I, I am sure that, that you did that. You, Guilty. You, and I, one time. I did the same thing. Yes. You know, I just, yes, I, I, I was 
a bad boy once, and I have said this before here, not just once, maybe more than twice or, or three times. <laughs> Many times I was a bad boy. And you know what? I was the one picking the, the, the wrong people. Fools to be my friends. People doing wrong things. And of course, I'm hanging out with this, these individuals. You know, the way that they talk. Isn't it true that when you are with someone that uses a certain word, eventually you're, you start it, to use yes, that it word? Yes, become, it becomes part of you. let it become part of you. Because you're already making, I, I believe, we're already making that choice to be in that crowd, in that little realm, in that group, and you become what that is. And I, I, I uh, just dislike that now. Exactly. Um, and I, I'm, I'm glad I'm part of this family now, his Amen. family. Amen. His family and, and, I and agree. makes you a wise, and he's made me a wiser person exactly. and helped me make wiser choices. Yes, I've I've been a fool before more than once, but with his uh, Holy Spirit, you know, the conviction shows me, turns me around in the right direction, get mm -hmm. back on that track, right, and be with the wiser people. Yeah, you his know, what? I'm going to tell you something that probably you will say, "Come on, Jan, this is so ridiculous. How can you be talking about that?" But I'm going to give you a simple example. Smoking. Smoking is a bad habit. And please don't think that I am condemning you, accusing you, or telling you you are going to hell because you smoke. Please don't go there. It's not what I am saying. It's a fact that smoking is a bad habit. It's bad for our teeth. It's bad for our throat. It's bad for our lungs. It's bad for all parts of our body. It is simply bad. There is no, no one positive thing about smoking. We spend money in, in a very unwise way. We affect other people. Our breath stinks. <coughs> our fingers. And eventually, smoking will take us to, to death because cancer and other diseases that are a result of smoking. Okay, I'm mentioning smoking as a one example. If you are hanging out with the smokers, Guess what you're going to be doing soon. Yeah, you're going, to, it's going to, you're going to be part of that. Because if you are hanging out with the wolves, eventually you will be wooing. It's what happens. And when you are not careful choosing your friends, and you are just hanging out with whoever, you go places, and you see them doing all kind of stuff, you, you will start doing what they do. Chewing tobacco. I know a guy here in Midland who was chewing tobacco for many, many years. And now, one day I'm going to invite him to come yes, to share great. his testimony because he has surgery in his mouth. His face is all it's, deformed. It's going to take away from your life. Oh, boy, that was horrible. But what is the deal? The deal is that this guy was hanging out with the wrong crowd. They were chewing tobacco. And, you know... They thought that's okay. And you see guys all over with this thing in their mouth. Yeah. The, the, the world, the TV, social media and everything like that makes, it think, makes us think that stuff like that is a normal way of being and it's not. And, and it's not. But on the other hand, if you read carefully the first part of this scripture, it says, be friends with those who are wise and you will become wise. Yeah. Because if you are hanging out with people that are smart, that they take good care of their health, their families, if they are smart in money management, if you see that those individuals are into prosperity, into advancing in life, doing things better and better, you will, you will start learning the good things about these people. So be friends with those who are wise. All right. Next scripture, please, my brother. Okay, it says, forgive someone and you will strengthen your friendship. Keep reminding them and you will destroy it. Proverbs 17, 9. Now, you and I are friends, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, we are good friends. Yes, but it could happen in the past. It can happen now, today, or tomorrow. One is going to offend the other. It's called life. Yes, sir. It, is. it happens. It comes, it ha yes, it does happen. Sometimes it it's not. More than once. You know, exactly. And, and it's not because you want to hurt me or I want to hurt you. We are good friends. We want to keep the friendship intact. Yes, sir. That's right. But, but we make mistakes. All the time. You know? I, know I do all the time. Okay, so I might do something to you that 
in your view, is extremely important not to do that. Right. Uh, let me give you one example. Okay, friends, follow the example. Let's suppose that in Ray's view, every time we meet, he brings me something to drink. Okay? Every time we meet, he stops at the store and gets me a cup of coffee. Okay? And in his view, that is a, sh that is a sign of love, appreciation, friendship. So he says, Jihan, I brought you a cup of coffee, okay? Well, initially I take it, you know, but eventually I just feel like I don't want to, I don't have any coffee. And then you stop at the store like you usually do mm -hmm. and bring me the coffee. And then I say to you, uh, just leave it there, please. Uh, I don't care for coffee right now. Just leave it there. Let's talk about this deal that we need to take care of. Yes. Sir. But I said it in such a way that offended you. Now, in my view, it's, it's just it's, a cup of coffee. Right. But I hurt your feelings. It could be because it was just a gesture. Okay. A gesture towards you. I'm, friends, I'm just giving you one example. I'm not saying Ray is that kind of <laughs> susceptible kind of guy that is going to be hurt because I rejected right. a cup of coffee. Okay. It's just one example I'm giving you. But one example that teaches you, shows you that anybody under different circumstances can hurt a friend. Right. Not intentionally. Right, without even knowing. They're, okay. not, they're not trying to, but it ha comes through like that sometimes. But I noticed that you got offended, you know, like two hours later, I noticed that you are kind of, and then you say, I'm, I got to go, blah, 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 and you leave, and I thought, what's going on with this guy? So and you, you stopped communicating with me for a couple of weeks, and I have no clue what happened. And suddenly, one day, we see each other, and you are cold. And then you say to me, you know what, I will tell you, you remember the last time that I brought you coffee? Well, guess what, Gian? I will <laughs> never in my whole life yeah. gonna bring you a cup of coffee. That's funny. But you know, it's yeah, funny. It's but, funny, but, it's, but it's, it's true. Exactly People get like that. Yes, exactly and it does. Happens. Okay, now listen to this scripture. Please read it. It says, forgive someone and you will strengthen your friendship. Keep reminding them and you will destroy it. So I said, well, I'm sorry about the cup of coffee, man. Please forgive me. Yeah. So according with this scripture, what we should do? Forgive, forgive for that and just drop it. The question is, do you really will drop it? Or you will do Some the second Some people hold on to it. Some uh, people hold on to it. But I've learned, I've learned in my walk in the last eight years since I've come to Christ is to let it go because it's going to be better for you. And not, you're not, it's not just that it's better for you, but you're showing the person that it's, it's happening in between that, hey, yeah. maybe I need to do this too. Look at this guy. So, my friend, let, let, me, let me ask you this question, my dear listener and viewer. Right now, as, as we are talking, having this conversation with you, do you have anything against any of your friends that because of that thing that happened in the past, you just can't let it go and you are still, still mad at your friend because of that thing that happened? If that is your case, I will suggest you review this scripture. Forgive them, and you will strengthen your friendship with this person. But if you keep reminding this person what, what happened, you will destroy the friendship. Gaining a friend is not easy. It's not easy to gain a friend. People say, ah, there are friends everywhere. <laughs> yeah. and that's not true. Certainly there are people everywhere. It's more than 7 billion people in the world. But, you know, if you have 2,000 friends on Facebook, good for you. <laughs> but that's not true. That no. is just cyber stuff. You know, it's not real. But those who are your friends, treasure that friendship. Reach out. Yes. If you did something wrong to this person, ask for forgiveness. You know, you need to find the reconciliation between you and your friends and bring your friend back to you. And if you don't know what happened, well, ask him. Ask her. Listen, I noticed that we are kind of distant. And I want to know, what did I do that upset you so much? I promise you, if you do that, you will see a big difference in your day. And your friend is going to be happy, and you will be happy as well. All right. Now, 
We're going to read this other scripture. Proverbs 18:24. It says, some friends are fun to be with, but a true friend can be better than a brother. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely true. Yes, you can have fun with just about anybody, but the ones that are there after even that are the ones that are going to be true to you in, in everything that you go through together. That's how it, I believe that. Exactly. The yes. friendship is is going to be so intimate to you, you know, so profound. It's probably one of my favorite things about life. Just talking with my friends, even from from elementary school. I have friends that I remember I met them uh, when I was seven, six years old, and I still connect with them. It, and it's so precious to me. Friends in my neighborhood, we grew up together, we play soccer together, we play baseball together, and it's beautiful. And from there, all the way through now, 56 years old I am. <laughs> I'm not there just quite yet, but I'm Thank sure you. I'll get there, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you have friends. Yes, yes, we have friends from childhood. We, we uh, you know, we stay in contact, even if it's just through, like you said, the whole Facebook deal, but they're, you know they're your friends. You know, they're, you know you'll put something out there, they'll pray, they'll keep you in their prayers, and they'll mention it, and they'll say it, and they'll call you, they'll talk to you, and it's a, it's a great feeling. It's, a, it's an awesome, like you said, it's an intimacy that, you share and that nobody can take away from you. Absolutely. And it says also this scripture, a true friend can be better than a brother. Now, here, here is the sad part, my friend. And this is really, really sad. There are many families where siblings cannot get along, you know? There are families where something happened. And sadly, most of the time, it's money. <laughs> what happened? There was a fight because of money. There was something that happened in that family and separated the siblings. And sometimes it's simply that there is one person in the family that is a black sheep. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are occasions, friends, where it's not that you don't want to be friends with one of your siblings. It, it's simply you just can't because there are many reasons behind it. And, and we just don't know the story. But listen to this part of the scripture. It says that a true friend could be better than a brother. So it's sad. If you don't have a good relationship with some of your brothers or they are gone or simply you don't have any siblings, I don't want you to feel that your life is a disaster because it's not. You can always find a good friend. And which could be the best friend that we can find but Jesus? That's right. The best friend ever. I talk to him all the time. It's like you were saying, we got to learn to listen before. And you you will hear a lot. He will tell you a lot. And he's going to lead you to do things <laughs> that you don't want to sometimes. But that's what friends do. They tell you how it is. And you got to go with it. Make and yourself the a better Lord person. Jesus wants to be your friend. Open your heart. Open your heart to him and say to you today, Lord Jesus, I want you to be my best friend. I want you to show me the path so I can be the person you want me to be. That is what you need to, to do, my friend. Tomorrow, here in Victory Church at 10 a.m., we will be broadcasting live the worship service. The title is Chancla. <laughs> yes, it's going to be great. We are going to have so much fun tomorrow talking about the Chancla technique, which is the, the way that our parents and their ancestors showed how to live and that's why many of us are good good people because of the chancla <laughs> so until tomorrow i hope that you will have a wonderful rest of your evening and we we'll leave you with this final video thanks to mary cole bye friends bye thank you for watching victory church please feel free to contact us our email address is info at vchurch.us and our phone number is 432-614-9798.